welcome to another episode of Science Uncovered, coming to you from our new Science Uncovered headquarters. You're here with your hosts Imogen and Cheska. This week Imogen's been finding out all about freshers' flu. Every year around 90% of first year students catch some sort of illness in their first few weeks of university. It's commonly known as freshers' flu. So what is it and why do so many people get it? I didn't get the flu. She got freshers' flu. When we were in first year, which was like a couple years ago, we had like two nights of drinking and then she was like, I can't do this anymore, I'm ill. I did, yeah, for a very, very long time. It lasted three weeks, mine. But um, probably due to excessive partying in the first year, yeah. I think it's more down to not sleeping. Like, if you just don't sleep, you just, you're going to get sick. <laughs> No. no. <laughs> you just deal with it's it. Like bed. You, got, you just go out again. <laughs> yeah. No, we, hey, we probably drink energy drinks. Probably one day off a week yeah. is usually enough to get some sleep in. Yeah, the thing in the university, anything can happen. Have so one night off, just you, sleep. You, yeah, you right. take the off chance that everything will be fine. It'll be all right. Um, I went home <laughs> for the, the second weekend because I felt that bad. Um, and uh, otherwise just going to the chemist and getting like beachums and stuff like that and just general TLC and films and, and stuff. When students from all over the world come together in a university environment, contagious illnesses will begin to spread. You'll be exposed to many new viruses that you've not encountered before and you'll also bring with you different viruses that will make other people unwell. To understand how it spreads easily, you need to know what are the different routes by which an infection can spread. And normally, when an infection is spread, it's easy to remember that they're all bacteria and viruses, or possibly parasites, which reside around us. And they normally get into the body, either while breathing, or when you eat food, or if you touch someone. In Freshers' Week, it's no secret that many people drink large amounts of alcohol. Now, having a few drinks is okay, but excessive consumption of alcohol weakens the body's defences by reducing the number of infection-fighting white blood cells in the bloodstream. Alcohol also dehydrates the body, leaving you very vulnerable to infection. Freshers' flu is not just one illness, therefore it can have a whole range of symptoms. You may get a sore throat, a high temperature, coughs, headaches, or just a general feeling of being unwell. If you do get freshers' flu, don't panic. If it's just a cold, look after yourself. Make sure you get enough sleep and eat healthily. If you're feeling really unwell and you need to see a doctor, the nearest doctor's surgery is right here on the campus and they run a drop-in clinic every morning from 9 to 11.30. Make sure you're registered online before you come to Sussex to avoid any delay. Hope you enjoyed today's show and if you have any comments or any questions that you would like us to answer, then please get in contact with us on Facebook or Twitter. See you again next week. Cause I'm under the wind.